Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmond and in my today's tutorial, I'm going to take you through on how to create cascading select questions in Kobo Collector or ODK. If you are new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button below. I will start by describing what cascading select questions are. So these are a set of questions whose options depends in the response of the previous questions. For example, uh, you might have a set of questions that you would like the respondents to select their country of origin then the city, then maybe the village or the estate where they live in. So how do we do this? Adding sets of cascading select questions to your form can be done by importing them to the draft uh, to the draft form in the form builder or by adding them manually to the XLS form then uploading them to uh, your form. So you will need to create an XLS form and our typical XLS form has three main uh, sheets. We have the survey sheet, choices sheet and the settings sheet. In our survey sheet, we have the type of question. Uh, then in the next column here, we have the variable name. Then here we have uh, the label, and this is how the, our questions will display. Then in our next question, we have whether the question is mandatory or not, we have to specify. So in the next column here, which is not mandatory, I uh, have indicated appearance. This is how my choices will appear. Uh, I like to minimize the choices. I don't like a long list of choices. Then we have the choice filter here. In my choices list, I have two counties or two cities in Kenya, major cities. So these are Nairobi and Mombasa. I want the respondent, whenever the respondent selects Nairobi, then only the sub-counties within Nairobi will display. And whenever respondent selects Mombasa, only lists of sub-counties within Mombasa will display. Same to the sub-counties. Whenever a person selects a Stare sub-county or Makadara sub-county, which is in Nairobi, only the specific words will display within uh, that specific sub-county. So we have what we call the parent element here. And we also have what we call the child. So this is the child to this one. So in Nairobi, uh, we have Makadara and Stare. So I'll have to indicate in this column, I'll have to specify that Makadara and Stare belongs to parent one. They are child elements to this parent one. Changamwe and Mbita are found in Mombasa. So this is a child element to uh, this one. Same to words. I have to specify that the Wandani word here is a child element to Makadara here. Same to other words in Stare, which I have Pangani and Ngara. These are child elements to our Stare here. What you should know is that uh, for each of the child elements, you need to add a column to specify its parent. The list can be so long as you may wish. Uh, this is uh, our settings, and in our setting, we only have the title of the form and the version here. So once done, we are ready to upload our form, and uh, we shall go to our browser. If you want it to be deployed on Kobo, you can just click on New here, then upload the XLS form. Then you will need to select uh, the form here. And this is how it uh, will appear. So it is major cities here. I'll copy uh, description the same. And uh, country, then I'll create. So here I have my form in uh, Kobo Collect. I have the, and this is how it will appear in Kobo Collect. So if I want in ODK, I will only type get odk.org stroke XLS form then I will generate my X form by uploading in uh, Enketo. I will hit submit. Then I will preview in the browser. And uh, I have my ODK form here, ready to be deployed. So uh, I can as well download an X form if I need for ODK. So thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe.